if you're anything like me and you listen to the same 10 songs over and over again, it gets pretty boring sometimes, but I don't have the time or the will to sit through and sift through thousands and thousands of songs that Spotify recommends me, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a project that expands it all myself. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do this. All I know is that Spotify has this website where they have this web API, and I'm guessing you can make requests against this API and it comes back with uh, your songs, your playlists. Um, I'm not actually sure how it works so far, so I'm gonna take a look through the docs. So what I should be able to do now is launch one of the examples. So let's try to run node app.js. And it died. <laughs> so I finally got this to a point where it actually does something. As you can see on the screen, we've got my top 20 tracks that I've listened to on Spotify. I don't know what what time period this is, but I click this button and it shows me my top 20 tracks. I logged in, I'm authenticated. I can access the top 20 songs from my personal profile. And that is a fully authenticated request going through Spotify's API. Now there is a lot of problems with this. The first one is if I refresh this page and I request again, it doesn't do anything because the access token that I'm using is for some reason expired. I don't know why. I don't know how to get a new one, I don't know how long they last, I don't really know what an access token is, but yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. But what I discovered after I finished recording last night was that this OAuth authentication system is actually not unique to Spotify. There's a lot of different companies that use this way to authenticate their users, and I was doing a bit of reading and I was like, shit, I should have read this before I started coding because now I actually understand much more clearly what I need to do. So the way it works is we're pretty much going back and forth between our application and Spotify's API, and Spotify's API is using these tokens to send back to us to allow us to make authenticated requests on a user's behalf so with every request i make to spotify api i need to pass this token to ensure that i've actually gone through the necessary process to make sure that this user is authenticated and this user has provided me with the necessary permissions to get the data back for their account <laughs> So it seems like I've finally finished off this OAuth authentication flow. Uh, it uses the access token that is currently stored in cookies. I'll actually open up the dev tools here and you can see, I'm not sure if this is 100% secure what I'm doing, but I've got the access token and the refresh token in memory here in cookies. And let's say we make a request with an expired access token and Spotify comes back with us and says, this, this request isn't authenticated anymore. The, the access token has expired, then what we do is make a request with the refresh token to get a new access token that lasts us another hour, which is exactly how it should work. Day three, this is where we're up to. We log in with Spotify. We get an access token. The access tokens get stored in the cookies and then we click get your data and boom. And boom, there we go. <laughs> We've got our top artist long term, and we expand it, a nice little UI. Uh, we got the artist, the, the first genre that they're in, and the popularity score. As you can see, this file's pretty messy. There's a lot of errors everywhere, and it's 300 lines long, but the main problem that I have with it is a lot of this is just repeating itself. These API endpoints, for example, are all exactly the same thing, except we're changing the time period of the data that we want. So ideally, instead of having three different APIs, I just have one individual API where I can pass in the time period that I want and it comes back with the right data for that time period. And also down here, we've got the UIs pretty hard coded. I should be looping over rather than just saying, 
uh, render this, render this, render this, when it's all exactly the same code, just a couple different words. So I'm gonna do that, spend a couple hours fixing it up and making it nice. So let's do it. So originally I didn't actually know what I was going to do, but this homepage I'm pretty happy with. It shows you the top 12 songs and the top 12 artists that you have for each time period. So we've got long term, medium term, short term. Probably thinking about adding another page to do some more functionalities with your own profile. So you can edit your playlists like we originally planned. And maybe we'll look at a couple different other endpoints that this Spotify API has to add to this other page, but I'm pretty happy with it for now. So we'll just experiment a little bit and see how it goes. We're at a point now where I actually have no idea if this is gonna work because I have everything available to me. I just need to implement the function that we actually set out to do. I need to create a new playlist, the current playlist that they're expanding. We want to extract the artist out of each song and for every artist loop over, well, cause there can be multiple artists for a song. So for each song, we want to loop over the artist and request data from Spotify that says, what are those artists top five songs? Return those top five songs back to us and display them in the UI and not only that we want to add those top five songs to the new playlist that we created so let's give it a shot If this works first go, I'm gonna be very impressed, but I'm guessing it's gonna die. Okay, it died. What happened? Oh shit, here we go again. This should work. Oh? Oh, no way. <laughs> there it is. Cool expander playlist. Hell yeah. All right, so we've created a playlist. Now we just need to add some tracks to it. I think this maybe, maybe, maybe has a shot at working. I'm gonna assume it's gonna crash at some point or my token might expire or something like that. But I think if I click this button, we're gonna add some stuff to a playlist. So let's see. Okay, so we got 79 artists and oh look, we're getting responses back. Check Spotify. Oh, let's go. 160, 165, 175. Look at it go! Go, yes! It's actually working. Oh my god. 279. It's adding stuff so fast, I can't even load. Go, go, go! 365, 375. It doesn't look like there's any problems either. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, error passing JSON, but it didn't die, so that's a plus. This obviously doesn't look good, but. This is just so I can see what's going on. These are all the songs that we're adding. This is awesome. So we should, if we had 79 artists, we should go to about 790 because what we're doing is just fetching each of these 79 artists, their top 10 songs and chucking them into the playlist. So hell yeah, we got Ozzy Osbourne, Lil Tecca. <laughs> what a combo. 718, 728, 738, 74. What happened? Oh, I think it's done. It is done. 738. I don't know what happened to the other 52 songs, but hey, it worked. So I'm pretty happy with that.
so I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a visual representation of what's actually going on here. So I've got the playlist on the left here is the playlist that we expanded. The playlist on the right is the end result of the function. So we had 160 in our existing one and we got 738 in the expanded playlist. I think it only actually worked on about 100 of the songs, so in theory it would be a bit bigger, but just for the purpose of this example, we'll just let that bug slide. Pretty much, as you can see, like, this first song in our playlist is by an artist called Ski Master Slump God. What our application is doing is it's asking Spotify um, for the artist of each individual song in this playlist and it says, I want you to come back with that artist's top 10 songs. So as you can see in our expanded playlist, the first 10 songs are the top 10 songs of Ski Mask. So all of these 10 would come back to our playlist and chuck them in. And it does that for every single artist in our playlist. So Kodak Black, Offset, Travis Scott would be Kodak Black. So I'm assuming the second song in our playlist is by Kodak Black, which it is. So number 11 through to 20 would all be by Kodak Black. And then 21 through 30 would be Offset. And then 31 through 40 would be by Travis Scott, as you can see. So I know it's kind of annoying that they're all in the same order, and I guess you would have to shuffle play it to get a decent experience out of it. But the theory that I was thinking is you could just listen to this playlist in the background. And, you know, if you hear a song that you like that you haven't heard before, then you could whack it into your own playlist. Or you could just use this as a pretty big variety playlist that, you know, when you get sick of hearing the same songs, then you could just have it in the background and, you know, have a good time.